Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to change the color of the eye's iris. Plus, we'll have some fun exploring some of the built-in filters in the filter gallery and even change the shape of the iris using Liquify. It's always good to make a copy of the image you're working on so you always have the original. There are two ways of making a copy. One way is dragging it down to the new layer icon. We'll get rid of that layer by pressing Ctrl Z or Command Z on a Mac. The other way is by pressing Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. We'll go to the left side of the window and choose the elliptical marquee tool. We'll go to the center of the pupil and click down, press Ctrl Alt or Command Option on a Mac, and drag our mouse or pen outward. This will create a perfect circle. We'll go to Select, Refine Edge. This will open the Refine Edge window. We'll go to Adjust Edge and feather it out about 5 pixels. We'll press Q to bring back our quick mask and press B to get our brush. We'll brush a quick mask over our eyelid area to protect it. And then press the letter Q to bring back our selection. We'll make that selection into a layer mask by clicking the layer mask button. So the white area of the layer mask will show any changes we make to this layer while the black areas of the layer mask will block or mask out the changes. We'll click on the image and press Ctrl U or Command U on a Mac to bring up the hue saturation window. We'll slide the hue back and forth to get the color we want and when we are happy with a particular color, we'll press OK. If we're not happy with all the colors in the iris, we'll go to the eyedropper tool and click on a color of the iris. We'll choose an opacity of about 30% or so and make sure the brush is on color mode. We'll go back to the iris and start painting in areas that we want to change. So here you go. We have a beautiful blue eye right now. So we're going to change the color some more. We'll press Ctrl U or Command U on a Mac to bring up the hue saturation window again. Let's make it a nice beautiful green. So if we don't want the color too intense, we'll slide the saturation down. Let's check out some of the things we can do in the filter gallery. We need to bring the original iris into the filter gallery, so we're going to Ctrl click or Command click on a Mac on the layer mask to bring up the selection. We'll press Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac to cut the selection of the iris out and place it on its own layer. We'll go to Filter and Filter Gallery. That will call up the Filter Gallery window. We're on glass right now. We'll bring up the distortion a bit and then press OK. Wow, the iris now looks machine-like or alien. You can see the fun things you can do to the iris in the Filter Gallery. Pressing Ctrl Z or Command Z on a Mac will undo that last filter. We'll go back to the filter gallery and let's try Ocean Ripple and increase the ripple size and press OK. Clearly there's so much potential using Photoshop's built-in filters. Let's check out what we can do using the Liquify feature. We'll go to Filter, Liquify. This will bring up the Liquify window and we'll click on the Pucker tool. We'll choose a nice large brush and press down on the center of the iris. Click OK and then press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac to bring up Transform. Pull on a corner of the Transform as we press Shift Alt or Shift Option on a Mac. The outer edge of the iris needs a bit more contrast so we'll create a darker inner glow around it. We'll double click on the layer to open up the layer style and click Inner Glow. We'll change the color to black, press OK, and then change the blend mode to soft light. The opacity will be 100 and the size will be 70. Let's do one more effect. We'll click on the gradient tool and choose a rainbow color. We'll go to the top of the iris, hold down shift and drag down. We'll go to the layers panel and change the mode from normal to overlay.
Let's bring the opacity down to about 35%. And now you have a gorgeous rainbow colored eye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Blue Lightning TV. There you'll find great tutorials, tips and tricks in Photoshop and After Effects.